Did the Halo community just discover bots within the MCC games files? We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So the recent buzz about MCC going around is that currently the community found some information about bots in the MCC, but is this actually going to happen? Is this something that we can actually have a chance to play around with later on? Well, we'll have to get into that in this video. So if you guys like these news and informational type of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, well, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So the other day, one of the most prominent, if not the most prominent modder in the Halo community, Rejected Shotgun, who has an awesome YouTube channel, I highly suggest you guys go check that out, is that they recently found some really interesting information involving the MCC. He put a tweet out saying that one of his friends dug into the new MCC update. The Rejected Shotgun tweet reads, My friend just dug this out of the new MCC update. There was some ad bot string in season five, but it says a lot more. And here's the image that they were talking about. They found this PNG file saying add underscore bot dot PNG. And basically you can add a bot into the MCC. This has been a feature that's been really requested quite often when it comes to the MCC as well as just MCC or just Halo just in general really, because bots are always just kind of a fun, really cool addition things you can play around with within the multiplayer side of things when it comes to Halo. Some people have even done some modding techniques where they've been able to put in some AI bots into a game and do some versus things that's kind of what actually made a game cheat really popular on halo's modding saying as well saying so having like elites versus hunters for ai bots kind of stuff though we've never really seen like spartan ai bots being added in bots were actually a rather common thing back in the day before like the internet and online gaming where like you play like i remember playing like uh golden eye 64 perfect dark back in the day you'd throw in some bots into your game, just to kind of fill out the lobbies a little bit more, give something else to shoot besides just like you and one other person. Though honestly, it was a feature that wasn't really super utilized a whole lot when it comes to playing games, but it's just kind of a nice, cool, fun addition. But there are many things that are possible with this. Rejected Shotgun even continued on saying, clearly a CE Spartan in the image, but even then still, C doesn't have AI pathing on multiplayer maps. This could potentially have big implications for casuals and modders alike. Now this is very true. If you're able to give a modder like a rig of like an official AI Spartan you can play around with in multiplayer, you could potentially set them up with some kind of logic with that as well, have them do some kind of techniques and you can really do some interesting things. Maybe even like with Machinima, have some large scale battles where you have AIs running across the field attacking or just creating really cool battle scenes. Like it's just a lot more creativity available with Halo if you add bots into it. As this would be a really cool feature, it started spreading around the Halo community and even Postums himself had to reply to this on Reddit saying, Hey all, thanks for the great coffee reading this morning around the, this topic and all of the wants and desires around bots. This is definitely a feature we have heard that players want in the MCC for quite some time but there are no plans for bots to be added into MCC at this time. We will speak on this a bit more on Friday on bots, but to be brief, they are used with custom game browser testing. We will go more into detail Friday though. Cheers, Postums. So what it sounds like right now is that 343 is utilizing bots, which is basically kind of a way to fill in lobbies and things like that. So then they can test out how well the game flow is when it comes to utilizing the custom game browser going in and out of matches. That was the one thing that actually kind of held it back from being released within season six. We haven't heard really much on the update when it comes to the custom game browser and eventually if it will come into the MCC for season seven, we're really hoping so. I'm assuming so as well. But again, we'll just have to know more. We might have to wait until Friday to get some more information when it comes to bots or just the custom game browser in general coming into the MCC. Though, now that 343 is well aware that the community certainly has an interest when it comes to bots coming into the MCC, I'm sure that they might actually start looking into ways to bring it into the game for people to play around with. There are multiple ways that 343 could go about implementing these bots into the game itself, or even just that, just leave it up to the community itself to find some ways to mod AI to 
where people will have a chance to mod the game in certain ways to give these AIs some life to where you can actually probably play around with it. Since 2021, it's going to be the year of modding essentially when it comes to the MCC as last year, 2020 was all about releasing the games onto the PC. I think this year their big focus is one, releasing a bunch of content for the new seasons every two months, as well as getting that modding support ready. So when Halo Infinite comes around in November, they'll be the lifeblood of the MCC to continue on beyond its initial life cycle where people will still keep going back trying out some new things, modding some new content. And with the insane sandbox that modders will have with the MCC as a whole, I cannot wait to see what 343 can do for some official mod tools so then the community can just go crazy with the MCC. Because 343 recently did just hash out all the legal arguments and agreements when it comes to playing around with licensed content that's within the MCC. So right now, that 343 is really focusing on just trying to figure out ways to give the community what they want when it comes to the modding support for the MCC. So as soon as that Friday update comes around, guys, you guarantee I'll have a video letting you guys know everything about that update. If you missed any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right here. Got a link to all my news and informational videos right there if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.